it's a small little guy. It's the X small from Sieco. Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and we're just going to go over the features of this machine. I would say one of the key features is are one of the key features affordable. This is an entry level super automatic machine. You'll never find one that's any less than this one, and yet it has some average features. Um, it's a, only 13 inches tall, which is kind of nice. The bean hopper is right up here. It holds six and a half ounces of beans. This is the adjustment for your um, grind. And don't forget, when you're trying to do the grind, it comes with a tool, push down and turn. You can't just turn it. People wonder why it's not turning. That's because you have to push down. Two programmable buttons right here. You can also, if you hit any one of these in rapid succession, it will grind and brew twice automatically for you. So if you want to double up on the single shot, you can do that. Uh, dispenses hot water out of the steam arm, and it also does uh, steam for milk for your cappuccinos, lattes, whatever you choose to drink. Over here is the water tank, uh, 33 ounces. Not a real big one, but it's a small machine. I wouldn't expect the capacities to be large. Warning light when the uh, when you don't have something in place. This is for the uh, water, when there's no water. And see, when I push it back in, that's going to go away. There's another warning light over here for if the dregs box was out, the brew unit was not in place, the uh, drip tray, something like that. And speaking of, there's the dregs box, and we were using it a little bit earlier. The brew unit's over here on this side, right there. That comes out once a week. Rinse it with hot water. Keep your machine running well. All right, what do you say we make a drink? I'm thinking cappuccino. Let it, any condensation go out into the drip tray or else some other cup that you have and then it's warming, it says it's warming up for steam. When it gets, when it starts to get warm, I'm gonna shut it off, put it in the cup and turn it back on again. It's a thermal block as you can hear that thump, thump, thumping. Let's get that going. This is a Panarello, which ensures that even though you may not have good steaming techniques, you're still going to get good foam on hot milk. So you don't have to be a barista. This is the type of machine that really does it for you, and you don't have to worry about much of anything. Except getting up in the morning and turning it on. That's the on-off button right there. Silver and black plastic just comes in the one color. Like all Seiko products, um, this can be worked on by any authorized Seiko repair center, and they're dotted across the United States. So, you know, you're not obligated to just bring it to one spot. We can work on them here at Seattle Coffee Gear, even if you need it, whether it's under warranty or not. If it's under the manufacturer warranty, contact them first, and then they'll line you up with a uh, service center to take it into. All right, there's the milk. Yeah, you got to wipe that off, dribble all over the countertop. I recommend giving that a squirt with, with water like that. Yeah, it makes a mess. I, I would typically have a cup under there. And now it's a little too hot. We're waiting for it to cool down so we can make our coffee. What you can do to cool that down a little bit faster as well, you can take this over to water and pump some water in there. That'll cool down the, there we go. Now it's a solid green. I don't want that in my coffee because I'm going to dump it in the sink. Uh, let's make a single shot. You can program those two buttons as well. I don't think I mentioned it, but I just wanted to make sure I did. But let's get this swirling around. What was I thinking? Then again, if you don't like what you're getting, it's programmed too much, just interrupt it. That 
I didn't keep that foam incorporated real well, but hey, it's not latte art foam. Yeah, the foam is in a blob on the top right there. But in any case, it looks pretty good. See what it tastes like. Hmm, nice and hot. It's pretty good. Yep, that's the X Small by Sieco. One of the smallest, most affordable machines on the market. Check it out on our webpage. If you have any questions, uh, I think everything's probably on the page that gives you all the stats about it. Um, I would say if you're not looking to spend a lot of money, this is the machine to buy. Thanks a lot. Thank you.